Hi and welcome to the Fitness Fix. My name is Patrick Gravel. Welcome to the first chronicle of the Trainer's Corner. Today we have our invited guest. His name is Natish. He is security and the small and gallery of his path. And today we're going to ask him a few questions, see how he likes to train and what his weaknesses are. So, hi Natish, how are you doing? Pretty good, yourself? Pretty good, you just finished your shift? Just finished my shift. Right on. Okay, so how long you've been training? Explain to our viewers. Uh, I've been training since the start of summer, you know, I wanted to get a nice body for the girls, you know. Pretty girls like a nice body, why not? So he's looking for a six, right? Right, okay. So, you're here today because you have some questions, you're new to the training world, and you wanted me to make a little video for you. So. What we do is we ask our invitee to tell us what is he want. So what do you want? Why are you here? So I've been training uh, a lot lately and I've noticed that I've had a weakness in my shoulders. I used to play rugby and I injured my shoulder playing rugby so I stopped training. So basically I feel like a weakness whenever I do uh, shoulder exercises. And it's somewhere on my rotator cuffs and uh, I'm not too sure what or how to train my shoulders so that I feel like I can actually you know, maximize my workouts. Okay, do you feel any pain when you train? Sometimes I feel some pains when I work out. Uh, Where do you feel it the most? More like on the top here. Okay, so he feels it a little bit on the front part, okay? Does it hurt when you raise your arm slide laterally? Like this? Yeah. With, with weights, yes. With normally, no. Is it hurting more in the mid-range or in the top range? I would say, I would have to say in the mid-range. Okay, so when you have a shoulder pain in around the mid-range, it's rotator cuff issue. So we're going to try to strengthen his rotator cuffs as best as we can. And that's the video I'm going to make for you, my friend. Awesome. So thank you for coming on the Trainer's Corner. My name is Patrick Gravel. We just talked with my good friend, Natish, security man extraordinaire. And we'll see you soon, guys. Thank you very much. See you soon. Ciao. And we're back. Natish, she's left the building, but I'm still here. Now let's do the little video for Natish today. First thing we're gonna do, side lying, external rotators. Why do we go on the side? Very simple, the glenohumeral joint is gonna be locked in. It's a lot more stable this way. So let's do this. Side lying rotators, put ourselves to the side, put her body aligned, put her elbow here, we're gonna breathe in. Breathe out. We're going to try to control our weight up and down. We're going to do three sets of 10 to 12, controlling a rotator cuff. And remember, guys, when we do side lines, we never go till failure, okay, guys? That's step one. Right on. Hi, and we're back. The follow up to the next segment is easy. We're going to do some super spinatus work. It works when you do abduction of the arm. What you're gonna do, you're gonna do always an open can exercise, not a closed can, because you do not want the head of the humerus to migrate up. So never do closed can. So you're gonna take two dumbbells, you're gonna abduct, breathing in, up. Exhale down. You're gonna do three sets of that, 10 to 12. Make sure your upper trap doesn't activate too much. And number three, let's follow up. And final but not last, we're gonna do a little bit of lower trap downward rotation of the scapula. We're gonna take a nice little band. We're gonna start with our elbows evenly placed. We're gonna inhale, opening up like a W. Breathe in, up, exhale down. Try to open up like doing a W. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. You should feel a downward rotation of the scapula, getting some lower trap activation. And that's your program, Mr. Nadish. One, two, three. Follow the procedure. Get that rotator cuff back on track. Thanks, guys. Till the next time. Ciao.